Welcome to another Pandas Tips and Trick video. In this video, we're going to learn how to filter data frames just like we do it in SQL using in and not in. In Python Pandas, we're going to be using the isIn method for doing the same thing that we do it in SQL. So let's get started. We're going to first begin by importing Pandas as PD, import NumPy as NP, then we'll import the data set called as sales. The data set will be something like this. It'll have sales representatives, region, month, sales and unit sold. And we're going to leverage this data in Python to run through some of these examples. So I'm going to name that data frame sales and it's going to import it from sales.csv. So it's imported the data. And as you can see, you have all the rows that are available in our data set that is in the CSV file. Now let's look at the first example of how we can use the in operator or the in method in Python pandas to filter data. This time we're going to filter data for Amy and Bob, which means if I simply filter on Excel, such as Amy and Bob, we're gonna get these records. So that's what we are aiming for. We'll begin with writing sales, then open close bracket, and we're going to now apply the condition, right? So it's going to be sales dot sales rep, right? That's the column that we want to filter for. And you'll see that this is the column that we want to filter for. So we'll write that and then what we'll do, we'll say dot and say is in operator, right? This is equivalent to the in operator in SQL. This takes a list of values that we want that data set to be filtered with. We'll open close the bracket and then we'll provide a list of values that will be basically Amy and Bob. This way we are able to filter the data set and get a list of rows wherever Amy and Bob occurs in sales representative. So if I run this, I'll get those records much like what we got here. Now just the opposite of it is something like this, right? So if I do not want Amy and Bob, right? I uncheck both of them here. I uncheck both of them here in Excel, but to do the same thing in Python, what we need to do is take the same condition that we have here and apply a tilde in front of it. That will be this particular symbol. So that way, now if I run this code, you'll see I'll just get the opposite of what we have within the condition. So this is the first method we use to filter data frames in pandas. Let's look at the other method. In the second method, what we're going to do is we're going to take all the values that we want to filter into a variable called as filter sales representative and then pass that in the is in operator so that pandas can filter the data accordingly. Right, so I'm going to use the same filter code that we have here but except this particular thing, I'm just going to take the filter sales representative as a list here so that this list can be useful or can be derived or we can make some dynamicness available for us whenever we want to filter the data. So this way, this will do the same thing, except it will only be taking the values from this filter sales representative. Right? So if you add or delete values from here, it's going to impact what we have here. So I'm just going to leave it with this particular filter here. And the same thing obviously is possible using the not the not operator. We can simply put the tilde here and it will give us the opposite of the results. So this is the second method of filtering data frame using pandas and this method is useful whenever you want to get some dynamicness in terms of what you're filtering for. Typically, this one is a result of some other code that you have written and hence in the following codes, it will help you to filter the data. Now let's look at the third method of how to do it. Obviously, we will rarely use single criteria to filter data. In this particular example, we'll learn how to do the same, but we'll be using multiple criteria here, right? So what we'll do is I'm just going to take both the conditions that are available here. And now I'm going to apply a and condition here. So I have already got one, the one condition here that is Amy and Bob, but we also want to now filter it against the North and West region, right? So that would mean Amy and Bob, I'm just going to exclude both of them. And then I'm going to select North and West in this particular criteria. So it will narrow it down to even shorter number of records. 
so i'll just say the and condition and i'm going to apply the conditions on that column right so it will be sales dot now the region is going to be something like this dot is in and i can give the criteria for the filter so if i put this filter here and say run you will get this exact number of four rows that we have seen in this excel file so obviously you can use the same condition again to do the not filter and you can apply either both of them by putting a tilde in front of wherever you want the not filter here but i'll just do one example with just one condition that shows in and the other condition shows not in so if i run this criteria you'll see i'll get these four records but the output will be more like giving to east and south because we are not selecting north and west so that's how we're going to use the is in or not in operator but combined with two different columns and you can obviously apply and here and keep extending the criteria that you want to filter here this is the third method of how we can use the is in operator to filter data and not only through one column but do it through multiple columns now let's look at the fourth method in this particular method we're going to use numpy which is a lot faster than the previous method so let's see how we can do the same now we'll have the same filter criteria available with us and we'll begin typing the same condition that we have earlier i've just pasted this code from before and this time instead of having the pandas filter we're going to use the numpy filter and it's going to be something like this right it's going to be numpy dot and then you're going to say is in right so that is in that we are using we are using it within pandas but this is the one that will be in numpy so we're going to say sales dot sales representative and then you're going to give the filter criteria as a second argument right so this numpy is in takes two arguments one is the data frame the column that you want to filter with and the filter criteria and if you run it you'll see we'll get the same filter and obviously this is the in operator the opposite will be something like this we say this one but instead of having tilde in this particular scenario what we will do is we'll use the invert argument in the numpy dot is in function so you can say is equal to true in this way you'll be able to do the not in criteria of the filters that you are applying right so this way very useful way and a little faster than what we have default in pandas now there is another faster method that is the list comprehensions method and this is much faster than the numpy method also so let's see how we can implement the same we'll begin by typing sales now obviously we want to keep our filter criteria here but this time we're going to create a list comprehension within this particular to do the criteria so we're going to say x in and then we are going to give our filter criteria right we're going to give the filter uh, criteria for x and then we're going to give in the sales dot sales rep what we're going to do is we're going to look for any values that are there within that particular column that is um, sales representative and then it will loop through all of the sales representative and filter those ones that are amy and bob within the data right this is said to be a lot faster and if you run it you'll get this particular criteria here right and obviously the reverse for this particular criteria is going to be very similar uh, to what we have in sql using the keyword that is the not in criteria so if you run the not in criteria it will basically do the reverse of the criteria and typically numpy is a lot faster than the pandas method and the list configuration is said to be much more faster than the numpy method also we have one more trick on this and that is the six method this method basically filters rows based on wherever the value is present in any column right so for this particular example i have a data set which looks like this where we have sales representative amy bob and chuck and how many games they played so we want to basically filter all the records where game 2 and 4 have yes which means you will see that this yes and this yes that are meeting the criteria which means these two records will be selected right so obviously you know the conditions are applied on two different columns and 
you want to filter and get the records basis uh, conditions applied on those two filters for doing that what we are going to do is we are going to look at how we can get this example done right so i'm just going to read that particular table here and i'm going to take two and four here right as a particular subset of data and obviously you want to get this two records within this particular example right so we're going to leverage this particular trick that we have used to get this particular criteria right so i'm going to say games and obviously i'm going to say games within it i'm going to take game two and four as the input now i'm going to take dot is in like we have done it in previous examples except i'm just going to provide the criteria that is this particular criteria yes within it and this is where the trick comes in where i'm going to say dot any right now if you have multiple such columns where you want to filter for that same criteria you don't need to do that and 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 operator you can simply say any and say access is equal to one which means if there are any yeses within your data for any of these columns then get that particular thing right so obviously uh, not any of the columns it's just game two and game four so it will mean that these two records will get selected so if i run this particular example you'll see i'll get that bob and chuck as an output so this is how you use the is in operator to filter data frames in pandas much like how we do it in in and not in operator using sql if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel